Welcome back, uh, dear viewers. Uh, you're still watching The Breakfast Show live on Mile TV International. It's now time for our first topic of discussion uh, for today, and we're going to be talking about the Egypt Can Conference uh, that is being held for the third year in a row in Egypt. And uh, uh, to shed more light on this topic, we're most delighted to be joined here in the studio by Dr. Sahar Nazmi, and she's a business and marketing consultant. First of all, doctor, good morning, and thank you so much for joining us. Good morning to you, Karim. Um, I'm very happy to be with you today. Good Same morning, here. doctor. So first of all, let's shed the light on the importance of this important event, Egypt Can, especially this time entitled Egypt Can with uh, development, uh, actually, and we have seen the progress that took place with investment and development. Uh, let me first start with uh, sending my heart feelings and my prayers to our neighboring markets in Syria, neighboring countries, Syria and recently Lebanon. We really wish that they will recover from that devastating situation. Back to Egypt uh, and um, Egypt Can. Egypt Can is very positive uh, wording. It's just two words, but it provides a, a perfect uh, strategy, vision for the future. It gives confidence, strong will, uh, persistence, and um, declaring in just one word that everything is possible. Going out of the bottleneck will be made. We will achieve it. Egypt Can Conference, I can see it as a very important point and a very important initiative that was taken by the president five years ago. He had the vision and he had his mind set on immigrants outside, the Egyptians outside, mm -hmm. that they should be here and be part of the inclusive development. Yeah. Uh, doctor, in your opinion and in light of what you have just said, what do you think are the mechanisms to attract uh, investment, uh, uh, to inter foreign investments in Egypt, and especially from those uh, Egyptian expats? I think communication is very important. Mm -hmm. I think your role as people in the media, mm -hmm. you should be on top of the situation, on top of the issues. You should start <coughs> promoting, talking, traveling to them, going to the embassies outside mm -hmm. Egypt, mm -hmm. getting into Egyptians. It's not only the effort of the minister. Mm -hmm. It's not only Dr. Mona Makramabi that should mm -hmm. be doing the visits, the talks, the discussions, and listening to them. Mm -hmm. It should be myself, yourself, mm -hmm. every Egyptian should be doing this uh, talk and attraction to promote investors into Egypt, especially Egyptian investors outside. Mm -hmm. uh, Egypt can, doesn't talk about ministers. Egypt is not about the president. Egypt is not about the administration. Egypt is about the 100 million. The 100 million led by an administration, mm -hmm. a president, ministers, and people who have vision and can get along with the 100 million, they can follow them mm -hmm. towards the target and objective. Yes. Talking about the talking about uh, information technology and the developments that took place in this respect and the scientific research of course I remember years ago we used to call for allocating an amount of money for scientific research now we can see a boom in this field in particular so how just taking a look at the infrastructure and how can we continue forward to be a hub for this in the region if you're talking communication or information technology we can reach to be a another hub for this technology. India has successfully made it, but they have started like 30 years ago. We are a bit late, but we can catch up because, because we have the brains, we have the tools, we have the support, and we have the appetite. The youth, the youngsters are into information technology. You can see a child of three years old, he's into mobiles and into communicating through mobile and using the technology. Uh, how about people in the 20 and teenagers, they are all into it. So we got the manpower, we got the appetite, 
and we got the brains. And I think Egypt and the will, of course, because uh, let me say, for example, we achieved many mega projects that used to take in any other country years, and yes. we were capable of doing this in a year and sometimes less. So that's why I'm talking about it. I think if we just take the decision, we, we can do it. It's the will. It's the Egypt can. And by the way, the Egypt can, I am uh, very much uh, encouraged to, uh, to let everybody use Egypt can on the buildings of the ministers, on their letterheads, on their website. This is a punchline that really communicates a lot of determination, will, and persistence of Egypt, that Egypt wants to do it and will do it. So I, I was really impressed yesterday when I saw the Citadel with the sign Egypt can because they were hosting the last event or the last night. On another note, the duration of the conference was only two days. And that was two days officially uh, in the ballroom. And I think they had a lot of topics to go through. It needs to be more than two days mm. to get the chance to elaborate and get feedback from the uh, participants on what they listened and the figures they were shown during the presentations. Yes. Uh, also, um, the uh, minister during the event has uh, pointed out or drew the attention of the audience to the importance of capacity building and uh, exploiting the human power uh, uh, the Egyptians uh, uh, present in Egypt. So what do you think about that? I think this is a very essential point. Human resources mm -hmm. as a domain in Egypt. Mm -hmm. Human resources, including development, development of skills, training, is were far beyond what others have done uh, throughout the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. And I think we have to catch up with training and human resources mm -hmm. because it doesn't matter what kind of technology you bring in. It doesn't matter the late uh, state of art machineries you get to produce a product. Mm -hmm. The issue is the people behind the machines, the qualifications of the people. Be that really what matters and very important. Mm -hmm. I think touching on this issue, and I will also add woman empowerment. That was really under I was the just going to ask about this part in particular. Talking about Egypt's efforts to achieve gender equality. Yes. Women <coughs> empowerment, especially when it comes, for example, uh, talking about political empowerment as well. Yes. So how do you see this so far? I see it happening. I can see many ladies, they are all ministers around us. The number of minister, ladies ministers in the new management is really uh, very impressive and they are doing fantastic job and localities as well yes exactly in the parliament we have like 89 ladies in the parliament taking place with very strong um, words and positions and they take things seriously and uh, that's really it makes me proud and uh, optimistic about the future of women i, I can imagine a woman, a president, in the coming 20 years, hmm. after 2030, of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, uh, Doctor, uh, about the uh, gender equality and uh, women's empowerment, as you have kindly noted that we're seeing a significant number of uh, female energetic uh, women in the cabinet and also yes. in other posts in the, in the parliament, uh, but what are the challenges facing uh, women uh, nowadays and how can we overcome them? And uh, I can see we have two types of challenges mm -hmm. when it comes to gender equality. Mm -hmm. uh, there, are, there is a good number of ladies that they like to depend on others. Mm -hmm. They are not independent. Uh, they enjoy the comfort zone that they are living in. They are not willing to go out and fight for the rights or to fight for other people's rights mm -hmm. or to a decent professional work. Mm -hmm. So that's one part of the problem, how to break through this taboo. I am a lady of salon mm -hmm. and I, I hate working hard. Mm -hmm. The other part, we are still being looked at as 
weak, emotional when it comes to ladies' decision making, mm -hmm. non countable to some extent. And I believe the presence of females in key decision making positions will help a lot in diverting this vision or this opinion about ladies are emotional, mm -hmm. ladies have nothing to do with serious business decision making. Mm -hmm. This is, is a negative stereotype. Yes, mm -hmm. the challenge. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we've got a challenge coming from outside to us. Mm -hmm. No, 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 you're not the right person because you are emotional. Mm -hmm. Your mothers, you love a lot, you have a lot of passion inside you, but you are very emotional. Mm -hmm. And that's not proper for decision making. Mm -hmm. That's one challenge. The mm -hmm. other challenge, some of the ladies, and a big, a big chunk of our percentage in the community, they are not willing to get out of their comfort zone. They enjoy it. Yes. Uh, I hope that uh, such um, uh, models that uh, cho chose to break this, uh, uh, this norm and uh, work hard, and they were honored and spotted by the president. Yeah. One of them was the microbus uh, lady. Uh, that, and uh, we hope that we see su further successful models uh, uh, in Egypt and that we should highlight such uh, um, successful models as... Uh, to uh, to uh, motivate others yeah, exactly mm -hmm. and it's your role I and think. of course just to, to, to add for this for example as you mentioned decision makers we have the minister of investments uh, yes. International a, yes, yes, of course, yeah. she is a lady, and we have many important uh, posts when it comes to the ministerial uh, on ministerial level. Yes. So let me also take this talking about the pot potentiality of the women when it comes to the idea of how to spread education, because I believe sometimes that the woman is very much aware of the challenges in education. She yes. is the most person, the most important person that can tell and talk about the challenges of this in this respect in particular education 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 that's the name of the game mm -hmm. education is very essential not only the woman it's everybody feels how poor the but quality. she's the one who is suffering actually of course because she's the most yes. one working with mm -hmm. the son or the daughter worrying about what she's doing financing them with the father yes. And uh, finally, the output is not really up to the required workplace standards. And I think education, it will take some time. We have started. We can see some effort. But we can use women empowerment as well, not only to, to, to work or to take a position, but, position, but also to, to support and help each one, maybe at home, at her comfort zone. But yes. she can do something. Absolutely. Absolutely. But then... We should agree on a major theme together. We should agree on a direction. We should have all a strategy, a corporate one. We are going this way to achieve that result. <coughs> we want to improve education. Mm. We want to improve the output. We want calibers that really can compete in such a, a very tough workplace environment. Mm -hmm. Um, also, uh, Doctor, tackling uh, the uh, um, foreign investment, uh, do you believe that the current res legislation and the new investment law is, uh, makes, it a favorable, makes Egypt a favorable uh, destination for foreign investors? Uh, it's a yes and no. Mm -hmm. When I look back into the old legislation and mm -hmm. the law of investment, mm -hmm. the 70s, the 90s, and I look at the new version mm -hmm. of the law, I can see a lot of development. Mm -hmm. But the issue is not looking at where you were and where are you now. The issue today is what others around you are doing. Why Morocco is attracting investment? We have to look into what are they doing? Mm -hmm. Why Cyprus? Why Athens, for example? Mm -hmm. Just an example. Look at the region. Mm -hmm. I know the region is foiling with a lot of uh, problems mm -hmm. and instability to some extent. Mm -hmm. However, putting the political tense aside, mm -hmm. we look from an economical and business-oriented decision-making. Mm -hmm. I think we need to give more incentives, mm -hmm. we give more confidence, we, gi we give more flexibility. Mm -hmm. We have to show interest mm -hmm. 
mm. in the coming dollars to be invested in Egypt more than this. I think we need to get better manpower available and ready for the investor because that's a big issue. Mm. Uh, investors today or industry people, they have a, a, an issue of not finding appropriate manpower mm. because people are not qualified, people are not well equipped with the information and the technical skills required mm -hmm. to work and produce a quality product. Mm -hmm. I believe we need to work harder and harder on yes. investment scenario, yes. looking into others and try to capture. I mean, we are talking now about investments in uh, human resources, and we have yes. seen this in many of the projects that took place, actually, that they are all Egyptians. They got, they got the training, and they yes. are fully equipped, and they are carrying out important jobs. Yes. And taking a look also at uh, the potentiality here in the Egyptian society, in women, in fresh graduates, I want to shed the light also on the um, pushing of the small and medium enterprises. There were also talks about this, and we have to admit that yes, we achieved a lot in this respect. Yes, we do. We need more. And we need we more. We will never say enough. More mm -hmm. But the banks have to change their regulations. But they did. I mean, talking about the banking sector and the yes. facilities provided recently, we have seen great changes in this respect. They did, we didn't see this before. I mean, starting from the uh, facilities provided and the orders taken by the central bank. And uh, then we have now the banks with low interest rates, um, more facilities that were offered. I agree. But that will only touch on certain sector in the business, not the small, small This is for the small and medium enterprises. Yes. If we're talking small enterprises, I'm not saying about uh, a lady asking for 20,000 pounds to do knitwear at home. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about entrepreneurs with decent <laughs> ideas that are looking into from one to three million pounds. That's a small chunk of financing. It's not a big chunk of financing, but again, it is essential but the three millions, to make it happen. The three millions will be small enterprises? Yes, yes. I'm not talking on the re really the 20,000 pounds the 20, loan. What I meant that the 20,000 here, 20,000 there, as we've seen in China and India, for example, these small uh, and medium and micro enterprises are the pillars of building any economy. They are, but the momentum the momentum in Egypt is different from that of China and the States, for example. The momentum in Egypt, you cannot only count of the, the 20,000 and 30,000 loans for such micro enterprises. You need to look into a decent amount of companies that really wants to develop and they need a million to three million pounds. Um, you have a, a word, a label in any bank, startup, we don't finance startup. Mm. They have to change. They have to look into startup as a potential growing company that could be like uh, in like transportation. Any, yes. We have seen companies started at home with two persons. They are now uh, on the IPO and internationally acknowledged. Mm -hmm. Of course, I, I would not say the name. Yes, of <laughs> <laughs> uh, Also, uh, another point, uh, doctor, is the e-government portal. What do you think of it? Uh, e-government? Yeah. Uh, we are too late. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. E-government. The face-to-face yeah. -face and the communication and going to any building for any mm -hmm. service, governmental service, mm -hmm. is not really uh, uh, a walk in the park for any person. It's very hectic. So mm -hmm. doing any service through the internet mm -hmm. is more comfort, convenience, mm -hmm. easy, quick, and we will stop a lot of tips and under the table uh, money yes. to make it happen. <laughs> yes, um, uh, unfortunately we're running out of time, but we really do appreciate uh, your insight, Dr. Uh, Sahar Nozmi, business and marketing consultant. Thank you so much for your insight and thank you so much for being with us on The Breakfast Show. Thank you, thank you. And I, and I hope you carry on and keep looking into Egypt can 
every week, every month, remind us, yeah. remind us of this punchline that Egypt can. It's a very positive uh, slogan. Thank you so much. Indeed, yes. And uh, dear viewers, uh, now we move on uh, to a short break and then we'll be back uh, to resume the remaining segments of The Breakfast Show live on Lyle TV International.